Okay, so very often you see a website online and you think to yourself, wow, that's exactly what I need. But then you realize that it would take you hours, if not days, to recreate such a lovely website. So today I'm going to show you something absolutely amazing, fantastic. It's absolutely unreal. It's called an AI Builder. And the way it works is just amazing. Like I said, you know, first you tell the AI what website you want to recreate. And then within just a few minutes, you will have a fully recreated website. And when I say recreated, it's truly that, you know, it's not a clone or a copy of the website. The AI will actually recreate, rebuild the complete website for you, including the header, the body and footer section. And now here's the icing on the cake. Since the AI will have recreated the website for you, now you can even edit those pages using Elementor so you can make all the changes that you want. Now, don't believe me? Okay. Let me show you. And welcome to 10web.io. So initially, 10web was a hosting company only, but as you can see, they've added a multitude of different services. So now they have AI builder, widgets, hosting, migrations, page speed score, and security and all that. So as you can see, all together now, 10web is an AI powered WordPress platform. So what does that mean? Well, basically you have the AI builder, which we shall demonstrate today. You have the hosting all combined in the one place. And they also have the page speed booster, as you can see here, which will guarantee you will pass the core web vitals with the 90 plus page speed score. So all together, fantastic solution. So today we are interested in the AI builder. So let's click on this. And as you can see here, first ever AI powered WordPress builder, and you can have it done in three steps. So it's going to build the initial structure, like we said, then you can edit using Elementor and finally you can push live with just one click. So it, there's nothing as easy as this to build a website, literally. So let's get started. And now here's the beauty of this system. Again, you can get started for free. So I cannot emphasize that enough for free. So guys, use the link in the description below and try it for yourself. You're going to be amazed. So I'm already registered with them. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to log in and there you go. So this is the first screen you're going to meet. As you can see from here, you can create a website, migrate your website or optimize your website. So today we are interested again, the AI builder. So we're going to create a new website. We're going to create from scratch. Okay. So let's click on this one here. Very good. So as you can see, you can create a subdomain. So the subdomain could be a temporary URL. So basically is where you can uh, actually see your website. But don't worry, you can change this later on to whatever domain name you have. You can link it back. You know, you could have your domain.com and link it here. But for now, let's just use our temporary subdomain here, which is absolutely fine. And then you can choose the nearest data center. As you can see, you have USA, you have Belgium, the Netherlands and all that. So London, England. So we're based in Ireland ourselves. So we're going to select London. On England and then here as you can see you can select add a brand new WordPress installation or clone an existing environment so at this stage we're going to use a brand new WordPress installation so let's click next and then we need to give it a title so let's call this one John Doe web design okay and now we can install so basically type in a username and password and click install so as you can see, this is a three step process. So it's going to set up the hosting, it's going to install WordPress and finalize everything for us. So again, this is done automatically. All you have to do is just to be a bit patient. It can take up to a minute or so. So there you go, guys, you can see this is done now. So this took about, I'd say a minute, you know, to set up. So as you can see at the moment, we have a perfect score of 100. So this is perfect. So now we can close this. And there you go. Now we're back to our dashboard. As you can see by the side, we have our menu option with all the different features that you can use. So basically this is related to the hosting, but also to WordPress, your backups, SEO, white labeling, your website, all your plugins. So everything is readily accessible right from here, which is super easy, you know? So obviously today we are interested in the AI builder solely. So there it is. So this is our dashboard for that feature. Now let's find a website that we can recreate, okay? So I went on Google Maps and I looked for web design companies basically near me in Dublin here. And basically there it is. So we have a few different options. So let's open this one and see what his website looks like. Okay, so here we are now webstudio.ie menu section. Here we have the hero section. Let's scroll down about us, recent work, our partners, latest news, client testimonials, contact form and a photo section. Okay, so that's pretty neat. I will have to say, okay. So all we have to do now is to copy the web address, control C, and now let's go back to our AI builder. And now we can add new pages, okay? So let's click add new page. 
And as you can see, we have three different options. And it's only the first one we're interested in AI recreation. So it will recreate our website, okay? Our web page, the home page, exactly the way it is. So let's click on this. So let's give it a title. So we said John Doe Web Design, okay? And then we can insert the URL right here. So there it is. So this is the one we copied from this website, obviously, you know. And then let's click Recreate. And now it's going to go through the different steps. As you can see, first one, recreating the layout, adding the design elements, and then the finishing touches. And then after that, we can edit with Elementor. So this is going to take a few moments. So I'm just going to pause the video right now. And there you go, guys. You can see, congrats, your page was successfully recreated. So let's have a quick look, okay? So this is the website I did look at the moment. Okay, so this is our website. So bear in mind, remember this. And now let's have a quick look, okay? Three, two, one, preview. And there you have it, guys. You can see. So let me zoom in a little bit. There you go. That's about perfect. As you can see, all the containers have been recreated with all the different elements inside them. And as you can see, this is basically a complete web page that's been recreated for us, including container, all the elements and everything, including, and this is the amazing part, including the header. As you can see, our header has been recreated separately and you can edit separately within your Elementor page. And now you can tweak things around very easy because your structure is built. Okay, so let's have a look at our original website very quickly. Some of the image here, uh, the star rating, all these awards, and here at the bottom, all the different logos. So so let's have a quick look so this is the exact same apart from these here they're not really aligned but this can be tweaked around very easily you know as you can see this is what we have so we can change this quite easily and tweak things around in just a few minutes but the groundwork is done for us already as you can see so if you wanted to change this you can insert an icon list instead okay so icon list there you go drag and drop and now we can change this. So the first one is 100% customer satisfaction. So control C, let's go back to our list. Let's put this here and do the same with the second one. So there you go. And now we can change the icon of those things here. So there you go, something like this. So now we can delete those ones here. So delete. And let's add a bit of spacing on top. And there you go. So let's have a quick look now. So that looks very similar, you know, and obviously you can take a little bit of time to tweak things around and have it just perfect the way you want it. But look at this guy. This is exactly the same. Now, here's the beauty again. Like I mentioned, if you hover here on top, you can edit the header on its own, which means that the changes you're going to make here to the header will reflect on all the pages on your website. So if you import more than one page, maybe homepage, about us, contact us and maybe services, the layout, the header will be the same throughout the whole website. So let me show you how you can do this. All you have to do is click edit header and there you go. Now you have the header on its own, you know, and now you can change those settings. As you can see, this is our menu section. This is our logo. So if you wanted to change your logo for your own, obviously, or your customer's logo, this is how you do so. Just replace the logo. And then after this, all you have to do is just to save it and go back to the post. And there you go. Now we're back to our main content, our page. And you can do the same, obviously, with the footer section. So let's have a quick look here just to show you. This is very, very similar. You know, there's a few things you might have to tweak around, you know, just layout wise. You can see here the read more is not really aligned properly. But these are little things, you know, as you can see here, the hero section and the, the top, our header is exactly the same. It only took a minute just to replace that element here. Very good. So now let's go back to our dashboard and there it is. So this is our page. This is the one we just created. As you can see, you know, this is our home page. Now you can add as many pages as you need. All you have to do is click add new page and then you can add, for instance, your about us, our services page and perhaps contact page and so on and so on. And straight up from here, you also have access to your header your footer, which are common to the whole website, obviously, single page, archive page, and all your media, like your slides, etc. So as you can see all together, very handy feature and super user friendly as well. And now if you want to discover how the 10 watt booster page speed score optimizer works, well, basically just go and watch this video here.